But um, I'm going to go ahead and get into my game. Now, this is kind of, uh, I ain't going to say new. This is kind of, this is old. This is yeah, like. No, told. Yeah, it's like over 10 years old. Uh, this was on Xbox 360 as well as PlayStation. Yeah. No Pat says anything. Um, was it? Answer for the game didn't get a lot of like hype, but it like if you knew what it was, you check it out. Basically, it's called Portal. Um, Portal was a dope wow. puzzle game that you could use to try to figure out ways to get out of mazes, but you can open portals to be able to get out of them. And then like the more things that you earn, you can open up different type of portals to get you places. But also, too, you have things that are attacking you as well. So you got to figure out how to get out of this maze in time before you die. Mm. and so it would be dope like you'll hit things but the dope thing about it is you don't know how you're coming out so you could hit a portal walk in it and then fall out of the sky into another realm and then it'll shift back down mm. so what is the story is there a story no nah, you're basically just trying to uh you could either do mazes and kill like the targets that's in there and get to your destination or y'all can all play together in multiplayer and fight one another so like we can all think of like GoldenEye, but instead of me trying to find you, if I know you're in the room next to me, I can shoot a portal and go right in and then blast you. How do you fight? Uh, same thing with like the L2 triggers and stuff. So they shoot. So like right now you can either turn it from a pulsator or you can turn it to a portal gun. Oh, so it also just shoots like a weapon. <laughs> yeah. So like, like I said, if you watch the game, like I've, I've played Portal 2. Um, yeah. Portal 2 had, I know, Portal 2 had an actual story mode and everything is like that. I'm not sure about the first one. I really, I mean, this came with the uh, with the orange box. I think this was connected to uh, Half-Life. Yeah, well. like I like I like the, um, yeah, yeah. It, was just, it was just like another version for them of Counter-Strike. They gave like us another game to go with. Hey, Half-Life is killing it with the side games. I'm telling yeah. you, bro. I don't know why. They, every single one that they put out with Half-Life actually became its own thing. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. I feel Wait, like the creators are like, nigga, can you can can y'all like Half Life? Like, nah. <laughs> we have been push, pushing this game for twenty years. Stop liking the other stuff. Yes. <laughs> we, it's game. Stop <laughs> liking the other stuff. <laughs> Please. We did. Like we like Half Life. I was like cool, but it was like these mini games. Like as soon as Pat told me Counter Strike, I was like, oh, hey, that... I remember Portal. I was like, Portal was another one of these games that was dope. And was that in sick. the same patch, or was that a little bit later? That was later, right? So, what? Here, so here's Portal. what here's what came in here's what came with it. This is like two, Team Fortress two, and introducing Portal. Damn! So they doubled up on Team Fortress because by this time Counter Strike was its own thing. Right. Like, like look at like that's what came out all, all on one one disc back in the day. Team Fortress just did not pop. No, it, not at all. But I you mean, have Portal. The, the thing about Team Fortress, it actually is still going online. Like Pat, like you, I promise you, it's still going. I know it's still going. There's so many random games that if you pop online, it's like, it's like one person on there. Like, what are you doing on here? Hey man, I didn't, I didn't realize how many fighting people, anyone. I didn't really realize how many people were on Left 4 Dead still. Left 4 Dead like, too. People still playing Left 4 Dead too. Yeah, but it, and it's funny though. Like, it's still packed in there, and because like Left 4 Two added all the stages from the first Left 4 Dead, there's like they continue to play it. But this stuff was so cool because you could also set up traps when you're doing multiplayer stuff so like even with the boxes and everything you could set up like laser grids and stuff like that inside rooms and so like if somebody portaled in they would jump and go right through that laser and die so there's no really storyline it's like a it's like a puzzle game like you're in a maze get out yeah like the story was cool but like it has like a storyline to it but it was basic like you did better like playing together with somebody or trying to like beat the time and stuff like that through these puzzles got it yeah. it seems very interesting but it all if they updated this yeah I this is the first like one. you could like shoot a portal but i would like to see more happening yeah, like this is the first one, and the second one they updated a lot. So like yeah. that's when they added like the weapons and all kind of stuff like that. Like this one had like maybe one like pulsator gun, and the rest was like throwing the uh, portals and stuff. And like you can pick things up to stop this to activate those things and stuff. Yeah. So that's it. It was a great thing for puzzles. Absolutely, it was, it was a great puzzle game. game. It showed. It, it, I can't even get it out. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say. It literally changed the puzzle game. <laughs> I don't get it. I know. That's how it. 
Oh God, that that I didn't I didn't I don't get it. <laughs> he did a uh, me. He did a me. Like I just the, he don't get it. Yeah. So if I'd have said it, that's one of your okay. Oh. That, was, that was what that was. All right. Yeah. That's hilarious. I wonder I wonder if the Rick and Morty creators played this. For the you know what I mean? Like giving me I, a lot of Rick and Morty. Yeah. I mean the port of it would make sense. I would say because you could do that shit. That, like, yeah. That, okay. That's yeah, wild. yeah. You just see what he did there. So he was able to yeah. shoot there and and jump through this one. It's gonna sh it's gonna literally. So you pretty much put a blue blue portal and an orange portal in, around the room. So oh, shoot. I thought the orange was somebody else. No, -uh. so it's all both of them. So if you put a blue one over there and an orange one over there, you jump through that orange one. You're gonna come out that blue. You jump yeah. through the blue. You come to the orange. So you got to set up your portals around the room in order to win. Yeah. You know what? The Rick and Morty guys absolutely played this game because <laughs> they have a they have a, a game out right now called Trover Saves the Universe. It's the funniest game I've ever played in my entire life. And mm. the boxes look exactly like the boxes in this. Oh. Like, literally, just like those cubes with like it's the exact same thing. They they complete that was probably like a nod to this game. Oh. Yeah, somebody somebody actually did like a hack that was funny. It was um they put a blue one and an orange one basically on top of each other and you basically fall through all the levels forever. Keep oh. Going in a loop. That was it. Like they found to figure out a way like in one of these stages to sit it just right and then they just jump in and it just keeps going over and over again and you can't get out of it. I gotta watch that show now apparently. What? You never seen Rick and Morty? Never. Oh my God, it's oh, genius. Man. Clayton, you would like it, you would like <sighs> Clayton, Pat, please, Pat, Pat. Pat. Genius, Pat. come on man, hold on. Hold on, genius. Pat. Pat. Kadeem, tell me there there were, weren't some episodes where you watched and you just kind of sat there afterwards. Like, no, geez. I, I, Pat, I get it. But where that show has gone oh, and man. how long it's taken for these seasons to come out, yeah, that's not the, fucking genius. Well, the, the last season, the last few seasons were okay, but that's because they're not doing the Simpsons thing. Their, their whole thing is every plot has to be completely original. It has to have never been done in TV history. So wow. at some point you're gonna be, it, it, it's gonna be a little bit tough, but Clayton, they like some of the stuff that they write. I know since you write, like there has been a couple things where I was just like, well, that's it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, their, their, uh, their thoughts on time travel and reality and stuff like that is just so epic. Like you would love like what it is, the Citadel of Ricks. Mm. Oh my God, bro, Clayton, you would pro you would probably do just what Pat said. You would be sitting there like, what the fuck? Cause you'll get it. And you're just like, this shit is crazy. They just purposely try to break break the rules, but please watch that again. I mean, watch that to today if you can. <laughs> How many seasons? It's good. First season, first season by all means. You'll love the first first two seasons. Amazing. You'll love the first two seasons. Uh, even, not, even even the third one. Third one wasn't that bad. I love all the seasons. Okay. They're all they're all great. But it's just like compared to the first two seasons, it's just it's it's mind blowing, mind blowing, mind blowing, mind blowing. And then three is good. Four is good. How like, many? There's no episodes where I'm like, well, that was trash. Ever. They're like ten episodes. Okay. Ten episodes a season. So it's like you can catch up quick. They're on Hulu too. So you can literally like skate through them and you'd be good. But Pat, what about the time it took for season three and four to come? It it, it took a while, man. Okay. Great. It did. But hey man, shout out to Shonies. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to yeah, Shonies. But uh yeah, so that was my game that defined us. So now we're gonna move into the final segment, which of course yeah. is